Hello and welcome to Session 4 of Active Parenting Now, Understanding and Redirecting Misbehavior. During this session, we'll increase your knowledge of the dynamics involved in parent-child conflicts. We'll also help you see how you can use the active parenting skills that you've been learning to redirect your children toward positive behavior when they get outside the limits. The first step is to get inside our children's shoes and see things from their perspective. For example, remember Austin's angry monologue about his mother back in session one? Mom was always so bossy about everything, saying, do this, do that, drink your milk, brush your teeth, always order me around. One day, finally, I decided I had enough. If we look at Austin's words through the think-feel-do cycle, we can see that his thinking is producing a feeling of anger, which is about to produce defiant behavior. All he needs is a triggering event. We're leaving in a few minutes. Please put this shirt on. Bingo. No. Of course, parents have thoughts and feelings of their own. And looking at mom's angry expression, I'd say her thoughts are something like this. I can't believe he's challenging my authority like this. Which produces her angry response. What did you say? Of course, mom's response becomes the next triggering event for Austin, which gets processed through his thinking and feeling, resulting in another response. She's trying to run my life. I better stand up to her and I've got the anger to do it. I said no. In fact, realizing that what we do becomes the triggering event for our child, we can substitute do for event and show a parent-child interaction like this. And so it goes around and around with one person's behavior becoming the trigger for the other's think-feel-do cycle in an infinite dance until the two people physically separate, which is sometimes the best thing to do.